Welcome to Online Study for You. This is a video in the Programming Questions Unchained video series, and in this video, we will be looking at some of the programming questions that are mainly concentrated upon data structures and different algorithms and basics of uh, the computer science. And we will be looking at some of the MCQs. Uh, we will analyze what is the given question and uh, how it can be solved. Or what is the correct answer from the given four options or maybe four or five options depending upon the question uh, so let us get started with this video the first question goes like this a data structure uh, in which elements can be inserted or deleted at or from both the ends but not in the middle is which one of these data structure so the options are option a q option b circular q option b dq and option d priority q so the answer for this would be option c that is dq so if you are confused what is dq it is given here it is double ended q so double ended q is a data structure okay so let us look at all the four data structures that is given in the options q circular q uh, one by one we know uh, q as a data structure q is a data structure which can be written like this elements are inserted at one end and are deleted at another end so you insert the first element here the second element here third element here and so on this element is called the front element and this element is called the rare element so element are inserted at the rare point so when new element is inserted this new element becomes the rare element and when elements are deleted the elements will be deleted from the front end if the first element is deleted this element becomes the front end and this is a normal queue now the next one is a circular queue so what happens in a circular queue is say for example when um, they are giving prasad at temple or uh, maybe they are giving something free what do we do is that we go in line again so the typical example will be let us say this is a counter in which you know they are giving some service or something like that a uh, circular queue would be something like uh, this okay something like this so you start here somewhere okay so people start coming in here so people start coming from here and once once they enter here okay the element is inserted here they go here they finish their service and then they come back again to the same point and they're moving so this is called a circular queue the next one is uh, a priority queue what is a priority queue is it is uh, mainly implemented in operating systems and maybe even in some temples also so this is uh, let us say the counter where uh, everybody are you know maybe it is of any shape okay there is a huge queue to take a darshan of the god which is there or maybe it is a church or whatever so elements are inserted like this uh, the first one to come will uh, go here okay so it is like this the normal is this one uh, elements what happens is when a new element comes and this element has a very high priority for example this is a special darshan or maybe this is a politician etc so what happens is this element gets direct entry into the first of the queue or maybe uh, you know there is if, if it is a normal person and this is special darshan they'll directly give access here so depends upon the priority of each element they get their position so depending upon this priority their position in the queue is decided this is called as a priority queue and the last one is uh, the dq that is a double ended queue what happens in a double ended queue is that if this is a, this is a normal queue okay now what happens in a double ended queue is that elements can be inserted and deleted from both the ends now what do i mean by that so this element can be deleted like this okay now when this element is deleted now when this element is deleted we have to have a new element right so that new element can be inserted from this side like this okay so this element can be deleted like this also so you say if there is two counters 
so now this element will finish its service and go out like this and a new element can be inserted from here okay so they can form a line from here they can form a line from here and they can be inserted and deleted from both ends this is called as a dq or a double ended queue so only in double ended queue uh, elements can be inserted or deleted from both the ends but you cannot insert any element in the middle okay that is the reason it is called as dq or the double ended queue so option c double ended queue dq is the right answer for this question let us go for the next question that is the second question which says a connected graph t without any cycle is called dash so the options are option a a tree graph option b free tree option c a tree and option d all the above now they have given us a graph t according to the question a graph t has some nodes and a graph is said to be connected if it is uh, you know all the nodes are connected and there is a cycle that is forming so for example this is a graph okay you can also call this as a tree but it is not a full graph because it is not connected so if i connect this graph like this forming a loop or a cycle uh, this is a cycle okay a loop is something where this is a loop okay this is a cycle so forming a cycle is called as a connected graph so a connected graph without any uh, okay so this is a cycle uh, graph a connected graph may be like this also right so this is also connected element uh, so i made a mistake there uh, if the graph is connected like this so the, all the elements should be connected to each other via some root okay if you want to go to this element from here you can take this root to go there okay this graph is that is why called connected graph okay if the elements are like this okay there is another element here they are connected like this this is not a connected graph this is called a disjoint graph because from here you cannot go there it is something like island so this is india and uh, there is sri lanka here this is not connected here there may be a ram setu somewhere like this but this is not totally connected so this is not a connected graph okay so a connected graph is where all the elements are connected and a connected graph without any cycle this is an example of a connected graph without any cycle this is nothing but a tree as i said earlier in the question option a is the right answer because any graph which is connected and does not have any cycles is called as a tree okay this is nothing but like you can you can uh, say it like this right this exactly looks the same this is a graph t and this is also the same thing this is nothing but a tree so it is also called as tree graph okay so treating it as a graph also you can treating it as a tree also it becomes a graph when there is a connection like this okay or maybe uh, it becomes a graph when uh, you are connecting them like this maybe there is another connection like this here or maybe here or here anywhere okay without a cycle if there is no cycle it is called a tree graph let us go for the next question that is a third question which says what is the need for a circular queue we uh, discussed about uh, circular queue just in the first question we discussed about circular queue dq etc so you can apply that concept to solve this question what is the need for a circular queue so option a is effective usage of memory option b is easier computations option c is all of the mentioned and option d is none of the mentioned what is the right answer now you can imagine a normal queue in order to understand what is happening in a normal queue what happen what is happening is uh, there are elements being inserted at one end and uh, they're being so from this end the elements are being inserted and the elements are being deleted from this end okay so this is a normal queue now what is a circular queue so why is it needed the right answer for this question would be option a effective usage of memory and why is that now again let us uh, you know question our uh, normal queue usage or let us take example of how it is implemented in uh, uh, 
computer so in a computer a queue is implemented so if you have to program a queue you are programming a queue using an array so let us consider that array like this or oh, maybe this is the size of this is the array and in the array what i'm going to do is insert some elements so i have 7 3 4 2 9 6 1 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 55 okay the queue is not totally full now this is my f variable that is the front variable this is my rare variable that is the r variable so this is a normal traditional queue what happens is when i want to delete 7 what i do is i'll delete 7 and okay let me erase that one to get to your better understanding i delete 7 and what i do is i change the value of my f from there to this one now my queue looks like this now if i want to delete like let's say three more elements i i want to delete uh, three i want to delete four and i want to delete two now my front element is changed to this okay now i i stored this in uh, the memory uh, like i stopped the program and i st saved the state the problem with this is that this whole bunch of memory space is wasted okay in order to solve this problem we have a circular queue okay so if this is uh, let us the first element to be inserted we note it and when the element is deleted from here okay the the this this boundary will be shifted here let i will give you a clear example okay so let us erase everything on the screen now uh, this is a circular queue totally depends on us how to program this let us mark this as the beginning point of the circular queue so these are my elements okay i can have as many elements as possible now let us set the counter the processing counter is here so the, this this element takes processing from this uh, counter and it leaves here now and after that this element goes to the front and uh, takes processing and leaves let, let us say the these two elements leave to highlight that let us erase this okay now my bad now what happens is in a computer there is no uh, you know processing center like this okay so this is just for imagination let us erase this also my bad okay now what happens is that this memory space is not wasted as we have seen in the queue array queue like this what happens is this boundary gets shifted to this boundary now now this marks the start and uh, this imaginary boundary is removed what that does is it increases the size of the queue now if somebody wants to enter the queue they can enter here now this person is the last person and this person is a first person in the queue and that is what circular queue does so it effectively uses the computer memory not wasting it and that is the right answer let us go for the fourth question which says what would be the asymptotic time complexity to find an element in the linked list the options are o of 1 o of n square o of n and o of n log n this is fairly straightforward simple question you know the a linked list is a set of connected nodes so this is the head of the linked list and th there are some nodes like this let us say 1 2 3 and 4 uh, i'll take another node as example and this is the last node and these nodes are connected to each other This is the first node. Now, 
there are some elements inside this node say for example 6 4 2 9 3 now I want to uh, find an element let us say I want to find the element 9 in a linked list what I'll do is I'll take a new pointer and you make my pointer point to this and I'll compare it to 6 I want to find 9 so I'll compare it with this so since it is not equal my pointer will now point to this it is just like a linear search so uh, the complexity for linear search would be O of n so if the element is at the last I have to compare my 9 the search element this is the search element to all the elements in the linked list until I find 3 so if my search element is 3 I have to compare it to all these until I find it here that is why the complexity the runtime complexity the worst case scenario is considered as O of n this big O as we know it is the worst case complexity right so that is why option C is the right answer let us go for the last question quickly without wasting any time uh, question 5 which of the following points is or are true about linked list data structure when it is compared with array now these are the points so which of this is true when linked list and data uh, array data structures are compared to each other the first is arrays have better cache locality than that can make them better in terms of performance and this is a true factor okay uh, arrays have better cache locality and option b is uh, it is easy to insert and delimit, uh, delete elements in linked list this is also a true one because uh, it is you know easy to create a new node and just link it and insert it anywhere so if in an array let us say there are elements like this 3 7 9 4 now if I, uh, this is the size of the array if i want to insert seven, uh, 6 after 7 what i should do is i should copy these elements here and then i have to insert it here so every time when i want to insert somewhere i just have to move it copy it etc this is a very difficult problem uh, not difficult but it is just time consuming so in a linked list you can insert it anywhere by changing the links so option b is also right and option c is random access is not allowed in a typical implementation of linked list uh, yes uh, that is true because in a linked list as we saw in the previous question uh, the search complexity will be o of n because you cannot just randomly go here and compare it right so we have to start from the head and move on from comparing each element so you don't have random access but it is a sequential access and that is why this is also true so that is why for the fifth question option b all of the above mentioned is the right answer because all these three points are true when linked lists and arrays are compared head to head so that brings us to the end of this video uh, thank you for watching this and if you have any doubts and if you want a better assistance for your placement training preparation uh, interview preparation etc be in touch with us thank you for watching